Hi, nice to you meet made you. It. Welcome back to Canada. So we're here, of course, for the Your Path is Made Clear book and tour. Yes. Which is all about finding your path, finding your purpose. And the book features excerpts from your conversations with prolific thinkers and artists like Justin Timberlake and Brene Brown and Mindy Kaling. What do you find in those conversations that you've had with those people is sort of the, the common thread, the common sentiment that they're on while they're finding their path? Ooh, good question. Um, the common thread is that all of the people that I end up talking to in The Path Made Clear and also choose to speak to now are people who have a certain awareness about their own life and their own path and their own journey and a recognition that the path that they're on, even though it may seem very different than the people who are their fans or their viewers or their listeners, is, is all connected. Justin Timberlake, for example, or Mindy Kalin, all people who have decided that whatever their artistry or gift is, and this is the same for all of us, whatever it is you've come to offer, what the offering gets better when you share it with other people. And there is no wrong path if that path is in alignment with the real reason you came and you know the real work in life uh, is to figure out why you really came you say that you don't believe in coincidence no to I don't you do not believe no, in coincidence I do not. you believe that there's a divine path in this mystery of life I believe that whether you call it divine or not that you are calling into your life and into your existence at all times exactly what you need to help you to make you stronger to give you insight and even though it doesn't look like it's the right thing at the moment everything is happening and showing up for a reason just for you because you are an energetic force field and every thought that you think is creating its own force field and that's going out there into the world and that's coming back to you in exactly the way that you put it out you know the word divine everybody thinks you know that has to be religious I do think that if there was one law that rules my life it is the law of physics the third law of motion that says what's going out is coming back just like what goes up is coming down so I think that everybody is ordering that for themselves by what you're putting out and you think you're not because you don't really give your thoughts all the stuff that you don't give yourself credit for or remember that energy that's going on into the world so worrying about your or being concerned about what is your true disposition what is your true countenance? What is the real essence that you are putting into the world? That's what you need to be concerned about. We got a lot to think about we then. We got a lot to think about. Thank, thank you, thank so, you much. so much.